Lester Hayes doesn't seem all that shy. I can say, say this, okay? God blessed me as he has blessed no other defensive player. He didn't seem blessed at times in his rookie year. Raiders coach John Madden made him a cornerback, a position he had never played. I thought that coach uh, John Madden was, was insane. He takes the uh, number one safety in the entire 77 draft uh, and does not even give me a opportunity to play strong safety. He's adapted and soon thrived to the extent that he made five Pro Bowl teams and now is eligible for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But while his actions spoke loudly on the field, Lester was often quiet off it, for a reason few understood. I remember for like, uh, like Super Bowl uh, 15, <clears throat> like, uh, like I had a pregame interview and, uh, like, and I was almost flawless. I can't believe it. It's like a dream come true. It's unbelievable. Yes, and we're going to win. We are going to win, no question. The post-game, okay, like, okay, like, interview. And, uh, like, and I was so uh, ecstatic that I could hardly speak. Everyone thought that Lester lacked intelligence. But what lacked, uh, Lester had was a uh, an unfortunate stuttering problem. I think he probably wished he could have expressed himself a little more because Lester was a pretty good talker and uh, and he could talk your ear off. His sometimes brash personality was molded growing up in one of the toughest parts of Houston. I remember playing like in the old school back in 1965 uh, and okay like, it was 40 on 40 uh, like and it was guys out there playing and they had knives and they had pistols in their pockets and the uh, thought of fear or doubt, uh, like it was null and void in my mentality. While he was immune to fear, the quarterbacks who faced him were not. He was one of the greatest quarterbacks I ever played against. You make a break and there he's right there with you. You make a move, he's right there with you. You can't get rid of you know, he shadow you, it's amazing. In 1980, Hayes had one of the best seasons ever for a defensive player. He had 13 regular season interceptions and four more in the playoffs in helping the Raiders to one of two Super Bowl victories while he was on the team. Hayes had talent, intelligence, and a few intangibles. Sticker. An awful lot of sticker. After that season, the National Football League uh, came back and outlawed sticker. As a matter of fact, I'm like, Lester, man, can you take some of that off of you? Because, you know, he tackled you, man, and I hated to have gook and stuff on my hands. He had so much stick on my foot, that's why they outlawed sticker. If he wasn't sticking to players, he was jumping over them with his kangaroo leather shoes. I had, okay, like a 43, three-inch vertical leap. I surmised that if I wore a pair of kangaroo shoes, <laughs> <laughs> it would be in a 45 inch vertical leapage. Lester Hayes still faces perhaps his toughest opponent, as once again he attempts to conquer his stuttering problem. He's done it before outside the public eye, but this time he wants to share his fight with the world. This time I am putting the before like, and the, the after tape on uh, each and, and every channel in the United States because it can, can okay, help someone. <laughs>